Hey guys, Antihero Sora here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. In the last episode, we fought with Dark Samus and obtained the Dark Beam. And in this episode, we're going to make our way through the Dark World and hopefully we can find our way back home. Alright. Oh god, I don't like the look of that phase on. Ow, ow. I didn't know what that was. I That's why I kind of went on top. Ow, 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 ow. Stupid phase on. Got an elevator here. Okay. Oh god, I do not like the looks of this. There's a control panel over there. Let's go there. Okay, that turns off one of those. Gotta find three more. Or two more. I can count. Okay, that's two. Now, where's the third? Over there. Really nothing. Okay, there's the third security gate. Now we can go through there and avoid the phase on. Okay, let's just run. Ow. God, that phase on is hurt deadly. Okay, really no health. All right, let's go. And get stuck in the door. Inklaws. Uh, those ones are always fun. They're shooting. Ow! Something shooting at us, and it's not visible. Oh, wait. it's Inklaws. Oh. Stupid light skeeters. Where are you? Ow. Still getting hit. There you are. God, get on the Samus. He's like, okay, I'm stuck. Get on. Uh. Uh. More night barb. Do not like the looks of this.
Okay. Mark that down. And we'll knock that down. We'll kill all the night barb we can. That will give us energy. Beam. And what do we have here? We got ourselves the light beam. All right. So now things get interesting. Now we can open these white doors. If I actually equip the right beam. All right. So yeah, so in order to get ammo, we need to kill enemies with the light beam to get dark ammo and enemies with the dark beam to get light ammo. It is really stupid. It is a stupid concept. Alright, so. We'll shoot these with the light beam. They energize them. Energizing these crystals will harm creatures, dark creatures, to enter. So you see those skeeters that are over there? I can actually hit that crystal. This is wasting ammo. Alright, same with the beacon. What am I getting hit by? Stupid. There we go. See how those Keters just died uh, instantly? Okay, so we need dark ammo. So we're going to go blow these up. I am starting to get really annoyed. Alright, so light beam for dark ammo. And dark beam for light ammo. Okay, I want to see... No. No. Uh, Luminoff technology. Light crystals. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, 
Um, one thing I forgot to scan. Once we shot these with the dark beam. Okay. And these are actually creature. So. Which can only destroy with the light beam. And I'm going to need ammo soon, so. You're going to be coming into that problem a lot. Realizing, oh, wait, I don't have ammo. There we go. Instantly kill those guys. All right, now that we have the light beam, we have access to get back to the light world. But there's also these doors over here. That we have not checked out yet. Ammo will come to you normally without you having to need the charge beam. Hey, look, there's another temple key. Alright, for screw it. Let's just go. And yes, we're we're just fighting normaling. All right, so Ing are weak to the dark beam. Two charge shots with the dark beam kills them. But you also got to remember a charge shot shot costs 5 ammo. So, you got to be careful with your beams. I'm here. Where are you? See look how fast that went compared to if we were using a normal gun? 
okay, I, I can kind of see why they put the ammo in the game because the beams are kind of overpowered when you are fighting certain enemies. And we got all temple keys. Um, so it kind of restricts you from constantly using the beams over and over again. But they're... Uh, I don't know. I just think that the way they implemented it is really stupid. Because there are the doors that you need beams for. But if you're out of ammo, you can't open the doors. Come here, give me all the pickups. Come here. So, and because of the ammo issue, you'll be mostly using your standard gun most of the game. Unless you need your other beam for a specific reason. Let's say to open portals. Or open doors. If you don't have the ammo, it's going to be very hard to get the beam to open up the section. Uh, there's a door over there, but that's the way we're going anyways. That door we can't get to yet. And we can't access that. But luckily there are beam ammo replenishers throughout the game. So But these are very far and few. Like there are there aren't that many throughout the game. Did not want to Are you? All 
Alright, so. Light beam opens up the light portals. So now we can get through here. And we're back into this room. And now, there's a door we can get through now. Uh, question is, how do we get to it? Ah. I don't think we can get to it yet. Yep, yeah, nope, we can't get to that yet. Alright, so we got all the temple keys for the dark temple. So let's make our way back to see what we can do in the meantime. What is hitting me? I took damage, but from what? Yeah, I better hit this. Alright. Is the phase on or the laser? Okay, Phazon was in the Dark World, this is... Okay. Yeah, sometimes be because you're going through bo Why am I... Oh my god. No. No. No! Oh my god, ow, ah. Uh. No, 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 no. See, Dark Beam can freeze enemies with the charge shot. I hate Metroids. I hate Metroids. Okay, now I need dark ammo. See, this is what I mean by it gets annoying. You use a beam to kill a certain enemy. All of a sudden, you're out of that ammo. Oh, now I gotta figure out a way to get the ammo. The ammo. It's just really annoying. <laughs> Please, no more. There we go. All right. In here, we got ourselves another missile expansion. No, wrong button. Now let's hightail it out of here before more Metroids come in. I'm ignoring you guys. I actually needed the top room. 
Need a grenade ears. Yeah. I need the top door. So I can go through here. So that way, we can access this. So these are reverse controls. It's fun. How do you like getting shot by turrets? Okay. That's down, be able to get us across there. That's blasted open. That's blasted open. Yep. Okay. This one's cannibal. Ooh. I thought I destroyed that. Anyway, who? No, I want on the skip. Come on. Alright, jump up here. Jump across. And more lore. I hope it's lore. Another hunter wearing the traditional colors of Semiseran made Planetfall today. Horrific as it may sound, there are two of them now. We are bracing for a new assault. This is dire turn of events. May only... May bear some goodwill. One of our scouts in Dark Aether saw a curious encounter. The Dark Hunter attacked the one clad as Samus near the Phazon site. Perhaps they are not allies, but foes. Perhaps we can forge an alliance with the Dark Hunter in exchange. Phase on for the head of our common enemy. Oh, fun. You got nothing for me. Alright. So. I'm going to go into here. And we got Beam Ammo Expansion. This is very helpful. Now we can carry a hundred ammo of each. And we want to scan this. Key bear. My journey comes to an end. The thrice cursed ing prepared an ambush of singular cunning in the mining station. They caught me in a like a neophyte fresh from the training halls. I have sent five so score of them of their number to whatever foul pit they call afterlife. But in vain. My life is exhausted. Alright, so that's Key Bear lore number two. So we got two of the Key Bears. Those will become important later. Okay. No. Eh. So now, I believe Yeah, we can get to the Dark Temple now. Make our way to the portal room, we can go fight the boss. Okay. 
You guys already fought before. For a second, I thought there was the third cannon. Stupid war wasps. Okay, I scanned the light portal to scan the dark one. Yes. And I think with that, I'm actually going to end it off here. If you like this episode, please comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you haven't already, please check out my Facebook and Twitter for video updates and whatnot. I've been Antihero Sara, and I'll see you next time on more Metroid Prime 2 Echoes.